Saban has it again. Coming to center, a pass over the line to Gordy Howe. Gordy Howe shoots one. He did it. First day on, and now number nine, Gordy Howe. Through one to the upper corner, and he gets a standing The matriarch of the Howe family was Mrs. Hockey, Colleen Howe, who lived her life by the motto, Why Not? In the 1970s, she founded the first junior hockey team of the U.S. and became one of the world's first female sports agents. Colleen orchestrated the Howe family's move to Houston in 1973 and did the same to bring the Howe family here to Hartford in 1977. Colleen is a member of the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame. She passed away in March 2009. The eldest of the Howe children, Marty Howe, enjoyed a stellar 12-year career in the WHA and NHL. Marty was a hard-hitting defenseman with a big shot from the point. He was a big part of the Houston Arrows' two WHA championships. Marty represented Canada in the 1974 Summit Series versus the Soviet Union and was a WHA All-Star in 1977. He concluded his career with the Whalers in 1985, having played over 700 big league games. Mark Howe played 21 major league seasons as both a left wing and a defenseman. A speedy skater with a quick wrist shot, Mark was a three-time first-team All-Star in the NHL and played in 12 All-Star games in his career. Mark's best season with the Whalers came in 1978-79 when he scored 42 goals and added 65 assists for 107 points. Like his mom, Colleen, he's a member of the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame. Gordie Howe began his career with the Detroit Red Wings in 1946 and went on to play 26 years for the Wings and break every significant NHL record. After two years of retirement, he returned to hockey to play with his sons in 1973 at the age of 45. In his first Whalers season in 1977, he scored 96 points at the age of 50. Early that season, he notched his thousandth career Major League goal. He concluded his amazing 32-year career with the Hartford Whalers in 1980, scoring 15 goals at the age of 52. He is indeed Mr. Hockey.